Who is coming up next, everybody? Who is coming up next? So we have Rob up next for the comp. We have the competition, the tomatoes. Oh, here we go. Tomatoes. All right. So where's Rob? Here he is. He's right here. Rob. Welcome, Rob. Hey, I'm back. What a what a great, uh, you know, Mike and Eddie, I, I, I just want to say waking up to them and watching what they post every morning, I'm just blown away. And when we talk about, you know, prosumers, Noel, I know you came up with that terminology. There's a couple of pros that are just killing it out there. And there's many others like them, but uh, we've had fun. I mean, it, you know, it is, I, I haven't met either one of them in person, but I feel like I know them so well because of the posts and the back and forth. Thank goodness for social media. It's really brought us all together in, in some unique ways and it's inspired us. It, it really has out in the cannery. You're spending long days there and sometimes they get hot and they get long. And then you think if uh, is good enough, uh, enough, and it's not. When you know that they're out there um, working so hard and, and showing off their wares and it, it really is a delight to see them at work. So thank you guys uh, for all your support um, in bringing uh, our tomatoes and all, all your craft to the public and showing off your, your wares. It's really inspiring. Um, so we have a contest um, and um, everybody's been posting and, and I've been watching them about the sauce. And I think we picked a few finalists um, and uh, and I'd like to maybe look at them if we can. I'm not sure if they're up on the screen. Okay, thank you. So, um, well, there's some of our product uh, that uh, is nice. So anyway, we went through the list and I do appreciate some people went over by a few seconds. Uh, we may or may not uh, bend the rules. First of all, I wanna say, Chris, uh, I put Chris up to being the judge and uh, he was certainly willing to do it. But, uh, you know, like a lot of people, he's having a little trouble at um, the shop trying to keep um, uh, people on board. He's working a shift tonight and asked me, him to be back the baton. So um, so I asked Armando, he, uh, Armando, he's going to, for, Fernando, excuse me, he's, so, who's that guy there? <laughs> Um, that guy's had a little bit too much coffee. Um, that's that's <laughs> me showing that when challenged, you can make sauce in under 15 seconds. So thank you, Fernando. You can get rid of that one. That's not going to win for sure. Mm -hmm. Next up, let's see. Oh, my nephew. This was us last night from uh, from Los Angeles. He's staying with me. Got the crystal uh, vase out there. These hands. And presto, he's uh, he likes the tomatoes. So that that's the second finalist. Um, third, we've got. Let's see. This is our. For, oh, Eric from Colorado. So, Eric, look at these roasted garlic. If that doesn't make you hungry, just the right color, tan, and into the sauce they go, and a little blender. So. Thank you, Eric, for that one. Oh, oh, this is a relative. Christina has been posting a lot of great recipes. There she is. And she tells me her family name is Dinapoli. I don't know if that is that legal. If can she can she be a contestant? I guess if, if I can and my nephew can, then Christina can too. Thank you, Christina, <laughs> for that. It's lovely. Um, let's see. The next one. Is that Efren? Oh yeah, this is this one is Efren Lopez lives out in Tomato Country, San Fernando Valley, Northern California. He's got the oregano and a little like a New York style, a little thicker, chunkier. Thank you, Efren, for that. Um, and we'll see you soon out there in Tomato Country. Um, and that oh, let's see, this one is oh, a new one. I haven't seen this one. A still, no video. Hmm. Still mm. looking good, like the red pepper and the blue candies using the crushed tomatoes. Thank you for that. And let's see, who else do we have? Oh, our friend Greg Bird. Everybody is enjoying Greg's work from uh, Bull's Head, Arizona. He calls it uh, the other pizzeria in Arizona. So, and he's got some good music uh, that he plays, rock and roll. 
uh, and look at the hat and the tomatoes in the background and there he's showing it off. He's doing some wonderful things out in Arizona. Thank you, Greg, for that one. And that beard matches the white hat, our 2019 Bianco DiNapoli hat. Nice work. And that, could that be the finalist? Yes, that's the finalist. So this is a tough one. Um, uh, so first of all, we got to eliminate me. Um, also, Adam, uh, Adam Conrad, I think my nephew, he's got a hat in the back. I'll, I'll give him a, a, a gift basket. Christina, you did some beautiful job, but um, you're a relative and, and I'll send you something anyway. Um, I would say um, the, the, the winner, I'm going to pick my friend from uh, Colorado. Uh, that's Eric Garcia. He was the one with the roasted, uh, roasted garlic. Oh, Greg, of course, Greg's got all of the, he doesn't need a basket. Look at Greg Bird. He's got everything that we've ever packed and ever given away. Uh, my good friend worked for Vesta for many years. Uh, uh, just great guy. But anyway, Eric, you're the, you're the winner. I'm going to send you a basket. Uh, it might be because you have the cutest daughter uh, in the business. Uh, she's adorable. You're up at uh, 5,000 feet elevation doing a, a great job. And thank you very much for submitting. Everybody did a, uh, we had a lot of fun watching them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for not only these pictures, but the ones you've been sending for the last year. We really are inspired by all that you do with our tomatoes. Uh, we are eternally grateful. So know that you inspire us and, and we're here for you. Thank you for allowing us uh, onto your screen and can't wait for the 2021 harvest, which should begin about the 10th of July. So thanks everybody. And we'll be sending out the gifts. We have a couple soon. questions, Rob, in the chat. So um, somebody was wondering if you distribute your tomatoes to Canada, are they sold in Canada? We do, yes, we do. We have, we have a number of good distributors, great distributors in Quebec, Toronto and uh, British Columbia. Wonderful. And then um, another question was, where do you source all of those wonderful tomatoes from? Well, we source them uh, throughout uh, Northern California. They're all fresh pack. Uh, we've, uh, we're up to three growers now that, that produce uh, for us. We started with one and um, they range from Fresno in the South up to Sacramento where Mike is living and making those beautiful pizzas. Um, uh, so they're, 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 we try to stretch out the pack so that we have enough and we run uh, 90 days. So we want them stretched out across California. So we distribute, they're growing for us uh, throughout Northern California. So the produce basket of the nation is where your yes. tomatoes come from, right? <laughs> yes, uh, and they're all, they usually take about no, no further than a hundred miles from the cannery. So it's about an hour and a half drive in, they're weighed, graded and processed and spend about three to four hours in the, in the production facility till they're cooled off and in the can. Great. So people can reduce their food miles by buying DiNapoli tomatoes because they're all local. <laughs> Yeah. They don't have to come across the ocean, right? <laughs> no, no, we, we're, we're right here uh, and uh, doing business with our neighbors. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for the great uh, presentation here. Really enjoying it. Well, there's an awkward silence. What happened? I love that. I love that. I, I like to turn those up just a little bit. I don't know. I'm just sitting over here with my scorpion tail trying not to get stung. Justin, what is that? <laughs>